Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion I fix my eyes on you The founder and the finisher of our faith I fix my eyes on you The solace in your suffering is my strength And my heart is weary And my soul is weak When it seems I can traverse the trail before me I survey the glory of your agony And I find the will to fight for what's before me Cause you ran the race, endure it for your glory I fix my eyes on you, the founder and the finisher of our faith. I fix my eyes on you, the solace in your suffering is my strength. I fight to follow You're my righteous guide And you train me to delight in all that's holy Heal my broken body Cure my crooked stride Throw off every weight and sing the things so closely I will run the race, endure it for your glory. I fix my eyes on you, the founder and the finisher of our faith. I fix my eyes on you. The solace in your suffering is my strength I fix my eyes on you The founder and the finisher of our faith I fix my eyes on you The solace in your suffering is my strength. Acts 12, verses 12 to 17. When this has dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed that she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter is at the door. You're out of your mind, they told her. When she kept insisting that it was so, they said, it must be his angel. But Peter kept on knocking, and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. Peter motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and described how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. Tell James and the other brothers and sisters about this, he said, and then he left for another place. Praying Without Faith King Herod had Peter arrested and imprisoned, intending to have him undergo public trial and perhaps even be executed. The believers in Jerusalem were powerless to free him, so they prayed. God did something miraculous. He freed Peter from his chains, from the guards, and from the doors of the prison that held him there. 
When Peter knocked at the door of where the believers were praying, their reaction revealed the doubt in their hearts. They argued that Peter could not possibly be there as he was in the prison, even if he was outside knocking. We have many concerns and many prayer requests as well. We may even regularly attend prayer meetings and consider ourselves persons of prayer. But praying and actually having faith that He is able to meet your needs are two different things. Like the Jerusalem believers who doubted that Peter was freed, perhaps we ourselves are caught by surprise when God answers our prayers. If we ask God to provide for our needs and strengthen us for certain tasks, do we remain worried and anxious? If we are praying for forgiveness, are we still living in guilt and shame? Pray with confidence that He will answer our prayers. Reflection Do you really believe that God answers prayers from His children who seek to follow His will? He mentioned in John 15 verse 7, If you remained in me and my words remained in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. Like the centurion said to Christ, Lord, increase my faith. Ask God to increase our trust and faith that He is faithful and just to answer and provide for our needs. Instead of praying without faith, let us pray with faith. Prayer Lord, forgive me for doubting in your goodness. Please increase my faith that whenever I pray, may I not be filled with anxiety, but with full trust and confidence that you will answer them in your timing and wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.